tonight we are reminded how vicious and how tragic coronavirus can be. A local army vet just died from COVID-19 at 37 years old, Tiffany. Hard to believe our Kelly Kennedy spoke with those who knew him. And tonight they have a warning for others. Richard Rose was only 37 years old when he died and he was born and raised right here in Port Clinton. Now I'm told Rose did not take this virus seriously. So now his loved ones are hoping that this tragedy will make others realize no one is invincible. Those who knew 37 year old Richard Rose describe him as kind, funny and caring. His family says he was very active in helping homeless vets and in preventing veteran suicide. The Port Clinton man served in the army for nine years and did two tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. He died at his home from complications related to COVID-19 on the 4th of July. We were blown away. You know, you hear about this virus and you don't expect it to affect people younger people like ourselves. Nick Conley has called Rose a friend for the past five years. They met through a shared love of video games. He is crushed that he lost his friend to this virus, but he's also hurt by something Rose posted on Facebook back in April. That post has now been shared more than 10,000 times. It reads, let's make this clear. I'm not buying a mask. I've made it this far by not buying into that damn hype. Rick is getting slaughtered online right now for his decision that he made not to wear a mask and that's not right you know we should still be compassionate whether we agree with someone's beliefs or not someone has passed away we should have some compassion towards that rose's family tells me he tested positive for covid 19 on july 1st and died just three days later i'm told rose had no known pre-existing health conditions oh, it's horrible that we lost rick but the even more tragic part of that is who else became infected because of the actions that he chose. Do you feel like your friend's death though should serve as a warning, especially to younger people to take this virus seriously? 100% and that's exactly why I made a post that I made showing people that I know a lot of people that haven't met someone that they know of that have been diagnosed with the virus and I wanted people to see it was real. And I, my hope is that people will see that this does happen and people will be more cautious. I did speak with Rose's brother and sister. They didn't want to talk on camera, but they did want everyone to know that their brother was a good person and he helped a lot of people during his short time on earth.